to the main ingredient of, uh, well, not the main ingredient, it's the extra ingredient today, jabuticaba, red jabuticaba. I've taken the seeds out, I cut the seeds out, squeeze them out, and uh, freeze it. And um, let's see if I can show you some. You can eat it like this, it's delicious, you know, skin and all. But I'm cooking with them whole like that, no seed. It's just skin and pulp, and you can eat it. So this is some corn that I've seasoned and buttered corn. We'll throw that on the grill. Non-GMO. Now this is some chicken tenders, and it's got onions, uh, spices, oil, vinegar, and jabuticaba, red onions. It's been marinating overnight. We're gonna put those on the barbecue. And then we also kinda have the same deal going on with um, some pork. A ton of jabuticaba in there with it, but that's, um, you know, the same same seasoning for the pork, a lot of jabuticabas, and we're gonna have to cook those jabuticabas in a pan. So I gotta go grab the pan. And then, uh, of course, you know, some steaks, you know, T-bones and such. And some New York strips. We can slice them and eat them in sandwiches, eat them whole, whatever, but we, we, we're eating today. All right. This corn tastes like it came straight from the tap. for this, what is this, Natalie's? This is the best stuff I could find. Good stuff. Yeah? Is that a popular?
the Kimber's hybrid. This is the hybrid between the red and the Grimmel. It's got fruit ready for the party. I don't know if we can show it to you, but I'm gonna start picking some here. That's the Mosey hybrid. And it looks like it makes a nice sized fruit. These nice size. I picked it probably a little early. But there it is next to the, I guess about the same size. They look a lot alike. But that's the Mosey's right there. So we'll pick a couple of the Mosey. Mosey's hybrid. Did, right? Do you want to taste this other one? This is a different kind. I need this. You all good? Uh, I need I'll the seed back on. Yeah, I need the seed back on. Oh, yeah, definitely. Kimber's hybrid. Mine got salt on it. Where are you water, bro? Uh, oh, okay. yeah. like a cocktail tree, I think. You know? So I'm just, you know, cutting the tree down. Just trying to make a cocktail tree, maybe. Two different varieties. You can do a bunch of different varieties, I guess. That's for later. I just wanted to cut that down. So that's cut down. We'll put two different varieties on that. And then these are just some little, some little root stocks, and we'll try to put a really big scion on it. It's a trick I like to do a lot. Pull the weeds on this. And then just you know cut it back, pull off any of the leaves. 
cutting his back. And so we got him down to stumps. There are two Sabra rootstocks. I'm gonna go get some cuttings real quick. So this is what I ended up with. For the cocktail tree, PDM, Paluta Domu Curry. And then also, Spirito Santensis. That's for the cocktail tree. Two purple, fuzzy, rare varieties of Jabuticaba. And then for the ones, I'm gonna use just red Jabuticabas for the little rootstocks. So first, let's do these little ones. You see how big the, the, the scions are compared to it. So you cut it down to size. If anybody wants any of this stuff, I'm not gonna. What's this one? Red. They're just red. But they'll fruit quick, probably. You know, the, the, the cuttings like this will fruit quick. You know, you always wrap it from the bottom to the top, overlap it. Rex is gonna sleep well tonight. We're gonna have to do a, a follow-up video because these grass may not take. He's just gonna split it down the middle. Is Zeke still here? No. Uh, gotta steer this knife, go straight down the middle and really split it long as you can. Right down the middle, don't mess up. All right, I did like a nice long cut right like that. Now. We're gonna do the same thing on this. You try to match it. You just kind of skin it like that. See, I just took off that little, like that. Like it's so long, and then the exact same opposite side. Just like that. Just take off that little bit. Real flat, like, and then when you get to this part, go like this. kind of what it looks like when you're done with it. You see the, long, the real long sides, and then if you can wedge it in there like that, and then squeeze it all together and pray. We're gonna, I'm gonna clip this just a little bit. And try to wrap it up. Something like that. It's always good when you can stand it up like that, you know? See, it's just like a strip that connects it. Yeah, kind of like that. Almost there. Yeah. Come close next time, John, and watch yeah. this next one. I do. I'll show you. So I'm gonna do one more, Evan. And just get some it down the middle. So I gotta come back again. Just a little bit. Like okay. Let's see. Just, you don't want to cut all the way in. You're just like taking off a little layer. And on the other side, same deal. And then when you get to this part, when you want to cut the tip. Something like that. Look kind of funky, but these are these, like you know, it's like not all the way through up there. And then when you pull it together, it just somehow bridges the gap just enough. You see that? See how it does that? It's just enough. Does the whole thing bridge the gap, or does it? Yeah. 
but it's just real um, convenient to do that. Your rootstocks don't have to be as big. Works on just about anything. But I'd imagine mangoes and avocados. And, but I've been doing it for, for jabuticabas and garcinias a lot. I do it for the garcinias a lot. Jabuticabas a little bit too. I've been doing it lately. Do they got to be about a year old before you use them as rootstock? I think so, man. Some people can get them, get them up six months to the grafting, but not me. Micro grafting that John was important. That's good. Doing. That's easy to do. You can do that. Did you use like an exacto knife or something? I don't know about that. I didn't see. But people, people use all sorts of uh, different cutting, you know. Careful. It's just a little cocktail tree. That's the opposite. What's that? It, yeah, this is kind of, yeah, it is. It's like the opposite, yeah. It is basically the opposite. No, oh, no, come back. Something like that. I don't know if you can see it, but they're a weak graph, but they'll work. So you gotta be careful when you're healing. Something knocks it and it breaks it real easy. But they work really fine. You just like, yeah, you slide it over to compensate. I do a lot of that in uh, when I'm grafting. It's just over to the edge a little bit. And it's like the opposite. Like you said, a smaller rootstock. No, a smaller scion, bigger rootstock. Okay, uh, this one here. I guess this will be the last one, and we won't have to do another one. It take. It's really hot. Don't think it's gonna. It may not work. It may work really well. I've done it before, once or twice. You know, when I when I was a long time ago. So I, it may work. I just had trouble maintaining the humidity and the lighting. I think you could definitely do it. And then you know what's always the trick is to transition them from indoors to outdoors. That's why I just like forget it. Uh, uh, I think I think we're good. Thanks. I wish I had more grafting tricks, but it was really kind of the same thing. The uh, big scion on little rootstock and cocktail tree. PDM, Plutodomu Korean Spirita Sancting Sentensis, Little Scion, Big Rootstock, shift them over. Crafting party, thank you for being here. There's